After two days at sea, we arrived at St. Andrews Bay in South Georgia. St. Andrews Bay is home to the largest breeding colony of king penguins in the world, with 150,000 pairs. The swells were high and landing a zodiac in swells is not easy. It also means that visiting this colony is never a given. The National Geographic Limblad Expedition Team worked extremely hard to get us on the beach. The Zodiac had to be positioned with the stern, the back of the Zodiac, towards the beach so that the swells would hit the front of the boat. Once the Zodiac was positioned, a bunch of crew members would hold the Zodiac, time the swell, and give us a signal when it was safe to disembark. The landing was challenging. Once we were on the beach, we had to walk about one kilometer to get to the main viewpoint. Penguins were everywhere around us as we made our way there. Getting there was not without its challenges. We were chased by curious fur seal pups and sometimes adults. The pups are very curious and they come at you. You have to make yourself big by raising your hands and making noise to stop them. And you hope they will stop. Sometimes you stop them less than a foot away from you. The adults come at you more aggressively. What you don't want is to get bitten as their mouth carry a lot of bacteria. Oh, and you're not supposed to run away because then they think it's a game and you become prey. Once past the field of furry devils, we had to cross a rushing water creek to get to the main viewing point. When we reached the top of the hill, our eyes couldn't really believe what we were seeing. King Penguin Palooza. The whole landscape was covered with king penguins. It was mind blowing. After being mesmerized for a while, we had to get back to the Zodiac. We walked by elephant seals. These mammals are huge. To re-embark in the Zodiac, we had eight crew members holding the Zodiac for a person to embark. From all the Zodiac landings I have done in the last 14 years, this was the most arduous one of them all. The crew literally spent three hours in the water to ensure that we would get to see one of the most amazing sights on the planet. On every outing, the Limblad Expedition Team works very hard to give you the best experience possible. This time, they went over and above. They are the unsung heroes of these excursions. In the afternoon, we were supposed to visit another king penguin colony at Gold Harbor. By the time we got there, the swells were too high and the landing was not possible. By now, everyone on the ship knew what it meant. And while there might have been some disappointments, everyone understood that it couldn't be done. And the morning had been awesome. To make up for the missed landing, the captain sailed in another beautiful fjord. Grigalski Fjord, 
and a branch of the fjord called Larsen Harbor. It was quite spectacular and we had a great view from the dining room as we sailed through it.